Hi everyone and welcome to my video on Flutter vs React Native. In this video we will be taking a look at these two popular cross-platform mobile development frameworks and comparing them head to head. So first of all, what is Flutter? Flutter is a cross-platform mobile development framework created by Google. It uses the Dart programming language and it is designed to be fast, expressive and easy to use. Flutter apps are compiled ahead of time, which means they that they have native performance. Flutter also uses graphics engine called Sikia, which is also used by Google Chrome. This means that Flutter apps can be rendered with high performance and accuracy. Flutter also has a number of other features that make it a good choice for mobile development, including a rich set of widgets for building user interfaces, a hard reload feature that allows you to see changes to your code immediately, and a strong community of developers. So let me describe what is React Native. React Native is a cross-platform mobile development framework created by Meta, formerly Facebook. It uses the JavaScript programming language and is based on React a popular JavaScript library for building user interfaces. React native apps are rendered using native UI components, which means that they have a native look and feel. React native has a number of advantages, including a large and established community of developers, a wide range of third party libraries available, the ability to use existing JavaScript skills, However, React Native also have some disadvantages including a slower performance than Flutter and it is more complex to learn than Flutter. So let me describe detailed advantages of Flutter. So Flutter is a native performance. Flutter apps have native performance which means that they are fast and responsive as apps that are built using native languages like Objective-C or Java. This is because Flutter uses a graphic engine called Sikia, which is also used by Google Chrome. Easy to learn. Flutter is relatively easy to learn, even for developers who are not familiar with the Dart programming language. The syntax of Dart is similar to Java and JavaScript, so most developers will be able to pick it up quickly. Rich sets of widgets. Flutter comes with a rich set of widgets that can be used to build user interfaces. These widgets are highly customizable, so you can easily create your own unique look and feel. Heart Reload Flutter has a heart reload feature that allows you to see changes to your code immediately. This means that you can make changes to your app and see the results without having to rebuild the entire app. A strong Community Flutter has a growing community of developers who are constantly creating new libraries and tools. This makes it easy to find help and support if you need. Advantages of Re React Native also Large Established Community React Native has a large and established community of developers. This means that there are a lot of resources available such as tutorials, documentation and libraries wide range of third-party libraries there is a wide range of third-party libraries available for react native this makes it easy to find libraries for specific tasks such as working with maps payments or social media ability to use existing javascript skills if you already know javascript then you can use those skills to learn react native this can save you a lot of time and effort so you don't have to learn a new language. Native look and feel. React native apps can have a native look and feel because they use native UI components. This means that your apps will feel and behave like a native even if it is built using JavaScript. Here is a more detailed comparison of two frameworks. Performance. Flutter apps have native performance while React native apps are slightly slower. Learning. Flutter is easy to learn than React Native. Community support. Flutter's community is growing, but React Native's community is much larger and more established. Native look and feel. 
React Native apps have a native look and feel because they use native UI components. Flutter apps can also have a native look and feel, but they require more work to achieve it. Which one is the better framework? It is really depends on your specific needs and preferences. If you are looking for a framework that is fast, expressive and easy to use, then Flutter is a good choice. If you are looking for a framework that has a large and established community and a native look and feel, then React Native is a good choice. So in this video, we have taken a look at a Flutter and React Native, two popular cross-platform mobile development frameworks. We have compared the two frameworks on a number of factors, including programming language, rendering engine, performance, learning curve, and community support. Ultimately, the best framework for you will depend on your specific needs and preferences. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in comments. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this.